So I spent 200 and something dollars at Trader Joe's and I'm gonna go through and show you everything I got, but I just have to let you know that I was checking out and I forgot an item. So I had to go run through the store, grab the item, and then I had paid and I realized I forgot three items that I needed to get. So then I had to go leave my cart, run, go stand in line again, pay, and I was nervous because my cart was on like a separate area, fully paid for. Got those three items and then I'm walking out of the store and I remembered another item I forgot. So at that point I just said that item's just gonna stay in Trader Joe's. I'll get it another time. So I'm gonna go through this four bag haul. I'm Natasha, if you've never seen my channel before, um, I go shopping at Trader Joe's and I show you all the new and fun items and then items I just like as well. So let's jump in and see what I got this week and we're gonna be sure to taste and review some things while we're at it. So uh, let's jump on in. We are going live right now. Okay, so 200 and I have two receipts. I have two receipts. Let's just, let's go into that. Um, I had to go into the store multiple times because I kept forgetting items and did I forget more items? I sure did. And the reason being is I have not had my cold brew coffee this morning because I was all out. So the first thing we are going to do, this is what I had to run through the store for, was I like this cold brew from Trader Joe's. It's the cold brew, ready to drink. I'm not a fan of the concentrate. I find it a little bit, um, there's like a, a sourness to it. I don't know if that's the right word. I've tried the different cold brews. I know a lot of you guys love the concentrate and I've also heard that some people do just the concentrate but they don't dilute it. They're like wild children. They, live, they like live a very caffeinated lifestyle. Apparently I need caffeine just as much as they do. So I'm making cold brew. I like haven't come fully come online yet today and I also didn't sleep great because yesterday was Memorial Day um, I also picked up the almond beverage so that's one of the three items I had to run in and get let's see if I can get it open I like this almond beverage because it's only 30 calories and I know that there's probably like one almond in it but honestly when I do like cold brew in the morning I just seek out a certain color of like light sandy like I want my cold brew to be like Sandy looking. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, there wasn't as many new items as there has been, but that's okay because there's been so many lately. Um, mm. oh, just gotta give it time to set in. Let's talk about these beautiful peony flowers. Um, absolutely gorgeous. $9.99 a bundle. Kind of not cheap, but they're seasonal, so get them while you can. They're just beautiful and best practices when you get your flowers um, these ones in particular cut the stems at like a little bit of an angle like a 45 degree angle um, remove some of the green leaves we don't need that that's gonna take a lot of the water from the flowers um, and then peonies like warm water warm water will make them just open up they like to be cozy <laughs> so remember if you get these make make them cozy in warm water remove some of their dressing some of the like green shrubbery yeah and I'll, I'll post a picture to my instagram page so you guys can see it kind of like an ideal scenario for these guys but i'm excited they had them in those two colors of pink white and then this really dark burgundy color which i was so tempted to get but then i thought 30 dollars worth of flowers is a bit excessive so i just continued on my haul i did get one more bottle of the cold brew i'm just gonna warn you guys i'm probably gonna drop something in this haul Something's gonna go wrong because I'm like a bit out of it. I'm also a bit hungry. Um, and I'm excited because the whole theme of this haul was there is a salad I have been obsessed with and I make it every single day. Um, and it just, it satiates me and it doesn't make me sleepy and it feels good. And like for whatever reason, whatever the ingredients are, it like doesn't make me snacky, which I appreciate because sometimes I'm just like snacking all day and that's just too much. Um, I picked up some lentils. Uh, I do like to put these in the salad, but my bean of choice for the salad is garbanzo beans, so I will, will, I will pull those out as well. Um, I picked up some Go Macro Bars. I like to have those on hand. Dishwasher detergent packs I saw last night that were running low, so I remember to get those. And then I picked up two La Colombes. Uh, Simon's at work, but he likes to take these when he's on the go, but I also got cold brew too. Um, these are just like a treat. If you put them over ice, you'll, you'll see, but they are so good. <coughs> Um, kale, one of my ingredients in my salad is kale um, that I massage. So with like olive oil, a little bit of um, yuzu, some lemon juice, it's really good. And there's two types of kale. There's this organic shredded kale and then there's a Tuscan kale. 
You can use either one. Um, I, I tend to find I like this one better, but again, choose your adventure. There's no, there's no wrong answer there. I'm so excited. So this is new and I've been waiting to sample this. Um, these are the oat chocolate bars with crispy rice and cocoa nibs. And I am gonna make a reel about this. I was just so excited. So first thing to note, this little box has so much in it. It's got three little bars. Let's see if I can get this. Which I appreciate because when you open one, you don't let the oxygen get to the others. These are kind of like the perfect sharing size bar. Like I would get this and give half to Simon, half to me. Ooh, this, my mouth's watering. This reminds me of like Nestle, not Nestle Crunch, but you remember like the, the Crunch bars? That's what it looks like from the back. Well, that's gonna lose that. It definitely looks like a Hershey's Crunch Bar, but this is made with oat milk, so there's no milk. Mmm. That is so good. Definitely very sugary and sweet, but the texture in this bar is something to write home about. Oh, that's delicious. And one of the this or that polls we had on my page, you guys voted that this one was like, this one like blew the other one, the regular one out of the water. And I agree. They can just get rid of the other one. This one's so good. Mmm. Yummy. And I've got cold brew, so it's gonna go well with this. You gotta get all the crunchy bits. Because there's rice and cacao nibs. Mm. Okay, so next up, I picked up some Pacific cod. Now that I'm back home, I'm going to jump back on my cod and papillote recipes. Or I might make tacos with that. The, the verdict or the jury's out? The jury's out on what we're making for dinner tonight. I'm not sure. Picked up bacon. Every Sunday, I have a weekly tradition. Um, with Simon where we wake up and we make breakfast sandwiches and it's one of my favorite things to do during the week because I love my breakfast sandwiches so much and I can't have eggs so I use just egg and it's just and it's an experience. I picked up some butter. I'm certain we're almost out of that and this I'm super excited about. So um, I the summer of 2021 was drinking these like they're called uh, pulp culture I was drinking these all the time. These are like my summer drink. I'd get them at Whole Foods. <clears throat> and they now have them at Trader Joe's. I ran in yesterday um, to get stuff to make Aperol Spritz and I was like running and then I was like, whoa, Trader Joe's now has these. And they're awesome. The reason I love them, um, it's so it's a fermented juice, but they put different juices from different types of um, fruits in it. So this has passion fruit, strawberry, ginger, turmeric, and this is the, why I love them. Um, I've never seen a brand do this before. They add lion's mane or like a functional mushroom because this one's called Hustle, this one's called Play. So there's different um, functional mushrooms in them. And this one has lion's mane, which is great for cognitive <coughs> thinking. So I, I'm thinking that since this one's Hustle, it's like you're gonna be like on your game, out with some energy, um, but it's so good. So I took these last night to my friend's barbecue and they're so good. The verdict's out on like, sorry, the jury's out on which one's everyone's favorites. Like, I love this one because you can really taste the passion fruit, strawberry, ginger, turmeric. But Simon really likes this one, which I love too because it also has yerba mate in it. But it's fun to sample it and like read the ingredients and you can be like, oh, a sommelier. Like, oh, I taste that, I taste that. It's good. And it's, um, if you guys heard of Four Sigmatic, that's the mushrooms that's in it. So I just think it's super cool. <clears throat> these do have alcohol 4.9%, so you need to be 21 or older. Um, but yeah, check them out. I, I think they're really yummy and they're great. They're just like a great day drink. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm about to choke on a cocoa nib. Okay. <clears throat> oh, more chocolate. This is like, I did go to Trader Joe's Hungry. Um, so these are like uh, Trader Joe's versions of M&M's. And a fun fact about Trader Joe's, they don't allow any <clears throat> um, artificial coloring to be added to their food. So if, if something is colored, you can verify it. They sweeten, they color it with fruit juice, vegetable juice, turmeric, spirulina extract, and natto extract. So all these colors are like, that's why they're not fake looking like an M&M. But that's true for all of Trader Joe's products. They don't use artificial colors. But this was purely a, I'm a Trader Joe's and I'm hungry. Bye. Um, that crunch bar is probably my favorite of the two chocolate choices. I picked up another Brazil nut body wash. Here's the thing. 
I don't want to be the girl that's hoarding Brazil nut stuff. However, I think I'm a fart. I'm, I'm like way a ways away from that being the case. Like this is my second one. However, this stuff smells so good. Like when I'm in the shower, it's an experience now. It just, it smells good. I like the way it sets up. So I, I'm grabbing a couple of these. Every time I go, I'll just grab one because I want to have these on stock because I know this is seasonal and I'll be gone and I'll be sad. Oh, what bag to get? Ooh, this is I'm excited about. A pineapple. I saw a, like a, like a reel yesterday and someone like cored the pineapple, cored it, and then they added in like cream and froze it and then cut it up into these little bites. And I was just blown away by it. One, I want to core a pineapple. That looks cool. And then two, I want to remake that video, but I want to fill it with the different types of cream than what they use. So once I figure out what the inside filling of this will be, I'll let you know. More kale. I picked up some herbs. I picked up some dill. And there's also chives in here somewhere, but I'll find them. Um, salmon skin for the dog. Boo, do you want to try some salmon skin? Come here. Let's see if Boo wants to try this. But I always hesitate giving them um, fishy stuff, but I know it's so good for them. Sometimes it just makes their breast stink, but at this point, Boo's breast smells so bad, so. Oh, and it actually doesn't, it's just a little salmon-y, but not like in a bad way. Come here, Boo Boo. Come here. You wanna try this? Hold on. Let's see if Boo likes it. Oh, is it, is that yours? Oh. You approve? <laughs> okay. He likes it, he just ran off with it. I'm hoping it has like omegas in it, which is good for us and I'm sure good for dogs. So one of the key ingredients, back to my salad, quinoa. I used to eat quinoa all the time and then I don't know what happened, I just stopped eating it. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna get more quinoa. So I've been cooking, like I'll cook a big, um, amount to put into a Tupperware container, and then I'll use that during the week. Two big scoops in my salad, and it's so good. Um, quinoa is a complete protein, so it's packed with protein, six grams um, per serving. But it's like a quarter cup dry is a serving, but a quarter cup blows up to so much bigger. But it's just, it's delicious. It's like, I don't know, quinoa is just special. For the tacos, um, or I could also add this to my salad for a little bit more crunch. I haven't done that yet, but I did think about that today. Oh my gosh, you guys, I dropped a can of beans on my head yesterday. I was making my salad and I was out of garbanzo beans, but I had like a can of white beans up high and I went to like grab it and then it tumbled down and it whacked me in my head. Ouch. Like, first of all, my dream is to have one of those pantries you see that you walk in and you have hidden things. But no, my, my pantry is like a coat. It's like, it literally is a, a coat closet that was converted to a pantry. Welcome to LA. Um, and it just, it's not very spacious, but it goes up high. So like the can of beans was up high and it literally fell, hit my head. I was worried for a second I was gonna have a concussion. Um, so no, like I learned my lesson, don't put the cans of beans up high, but I think Simon did that. So I'll have to talk to him about that. Slash we need to reorganize the pantry. Um, so here are the garbanzo beans, pick those up. You can really use any bean in the salad. Um, I'll make a video about this salad just so some people have messaged me for the recipe. Um, and you can also um, subscribe to my newsletter where I put recipes in it and I put the salad in it. So just it's free to join my newsletter. You just type, um, you're watching this live, you can type newsletter or go to TraderJoesList.com and it'll prompt you. But I put in all my favorite recipes I make into the newsletter, including the salad. Oh, and then another key item in the salad is hearts of palm, which are like the best price at Trader Joe's. It's $1.99. Um, the co-op down the street for me a can like this of Hearts of Palm is like $5.99. This is $1.99 at Trader Joe's. So it's good. And it definitely needs to be in the salad. If the Hearts of Palm is not in the salad, it is not correct. You will need lemons for the salad. So I get some lemons. You don't need three. I just literally make this salad every day. And then I picked up two avocados. It does work. Um, halloumi cheese, that's how you know it's summer. This is the best cheese. This is a grilling cheese, so what's special about halloumi cheese is it doesn't melt. So you can like pan fry it. Um, there's a restaurant down the street, uh, in, not down the street, it's in Venice, and it's 
Like you can opt for a protein on your salad. You can do like chicken, salmon, or halloumi cheese because it's that good and it's kind of got like a thicker texture to it. Um, it's salty, it's, it's delicious. So you can grill it, pan fry it, and bake it. It looks like this and it comes out every summer at Trader Joe's. So I always grab a couple because these things, if you don't open it, they last quite a bit of time. Let's see. This expires June 30th, 2024. So they're gonna last a while in your fridge as long as you don't open it. Oh, these are brand new. Super sweet Marzinino tomatoes. Whole peeled tomatoes and tomato juice. That's fun. It's good to have this on hand. Um, they recommend using this because these are sweeter. These make really good uh, pizza sauces. Um, alternatively, what can you do? Pasta sauces too. Product of Italy. Cool. And then more treats for the dogs. These are the, like, I know Pop Pie loves these. I didn't know if she would love the salmon skin. Boo definitely loves these. But Pop Pie always likes these. And then, okay, we are going to jump into this bag. Oh, there are the chives. I found the chives. I got more of the rainbow trout flakes. I love these. These are so good. They're easy to make. Um, my recipe is I put, um, I let them defrost. And then I add copious amounts of green goddess seasoning, lemon juice, pan fry, and they're just delicious. And I like it because trout has like a, it's it's not so much of a like fishy taste. It's, it, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's different than like um, a white fish that you find like cod, it's just different. Um, fully cooked falafel, I picked these up because I wanna add these to my salad. Um, just a little bit more like if I'm ever wanting a little bit more um, food in my salad, like a heartier salad, that's the word, and I add some falafel. Gluten free, and they've got six grams of protein for per four pieces, not a ton, but still good. This just needs to be on hand in the fridge, not in the fridge, in the freezer downstairs. I love having these on hand. One of my faults that I always do is I'm, I fail to like take it out of the box and then redistribute the toppings evenly. A lot of people do that and I always forget. Cause by the time I get to frozen pizza hungry, I'm not thinking straight. I'm just like throw it in the oven. But I will make it a mission to evenly distribute the toppings. Cause when it's like this, they kind of like fall from gravity. There's that. Um, I picked up these sweet mini peppers. These go in my salad and I, when I was walking around Trader Joe's, I was thinking, okay, gotta go grab the sweet mini peppers. I hope that there's a bag that has a lot of red ones because the red ones are my favorite. No reason in particular other than that they look nice. And this bag has so much red ones. So that was exciting. That was a win today. Uh, these are brand new. Trader Joe's chocolatey coated peanut butter crispy rice bites. So I can't have peanuts. Um, we will make a video of Simon trying and reviewing these. But it's really cute. The carton's cute. They look delicious. If this was an almond butter, I would be all over it. So it's pumped with peanut butter, replete with crispy rice bits. Never heard that word, replete. Uh, chock full of chocolatey goodness, charmingly chewy yet craveably crisp, complimentary to coffee, cocoa, milk, and more. They say you can't be everything to everyone, but these bites sure do come close. And for some people, it'll put them in the hospital because it's, I won't go to the hospital with peanuts, but I will have some very uncomfortable symptoms. Um, Cream fraiche, I did pick this up because it was so good. Last week I had it, if you saw my reel, I posted a reel where I basically cored the inside of a muffin, but I left the top and then I poured some cream fraiche in it and then you take a bite of the two and my goodness, if you wanna just treat yourself, some people are like, whoa, way too much sugar. I'm like, obviously we're not eating that as a health food. That's like good for your soul. This is just like a good for your soul bite. Sometimes you have to have those. Not everything's about kale. Sometimes you just treat yourself and everything in moderation. Enjoy life. Enjoy life. I picked up hummus. I want to do something with you guys. So hummus, this is what I want to try because there is the hummus with the chili onion crunch, but I want to add the jalapeno lime and onion crunch to this one and then sample it. Oh my gosh, I feel like they got a new glue that puts these lids on because it's never that easy. So... What we're gonna do, this is a fresh hummus. I just got the organic hummus. I'm just gonna make a little hole in the middle. And you could do this with anything. There's actually a video on how to like smear hummus so that it looks, looks nice. I don't know who came up with that rule. Well, 
I didn't think that through well enough because now I have to get another spoon. This is the lime. I don't know if this is going to be good, but Brandy and I had talked about doing this when we were in Arizona and we just never did. So I'm adding this to the middle of the hummus and come. Mm. There's got to be an optimal use for the crunchy jalapeno lime and onion. <clears throat> I just have yet to find it. So there, that's like my version of the chili and crunch. I just don't have um, anything to dip into it, so I'm just gonna use, using a spoon. Mmm. I like that. This would be a good, oh, that's good. That does work. That works really well, because the jalapeno is a little spicy, and the creaminess of the hummus, did I say that right? The creaminess of the hummus, that sounds like I'm saying it wrong, but I'm not, um, really go well together. The lime flavor, just a hint, and whatever that, the crunchy jalapeno bits, yum. Mmm. Okay, guys, I approve that. So you just get the hummus, you carve a little hole out, and then you add in the crunchy jalapeno lime and onion. You can make it at home, that would be really good. Say you're doing taco night with friends, not a traditional like salsa dish, you can put that on the side. That is, that is delicious, I really like that combo. A lot. Um, I picked up these oat bars. I should have sampled these first. Let me see if they've melted. These are good. I had them last year. It reminds me of like Nesquik a bit. Let's see. Oh, it's okay. I'll eat one of these right now. Why not? Oh no, they're still a bit melty. I might just take a small bite. But these are oat oat bars, 100 calories each. They're vegan. Um, 12 grams of sugar, so it's a fun little dessert, or on a hot day you can enjoy it. Mm. Yeah, it does remind me of like chocolate milk on a stick. Mm. That's really good, yummy. What's the ingredients? Cocoa, organic oat base, sugar, chocolate. Mm. A little bit of sunflower oil just to piss people off. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Alright. I'm going to revisit that bar once it's frozen. My favorite snack these days are the marinated artichokes on the go. Oh, there's still some good stuff in there. I can't wait to show you. Marinated artichokes on the go. So good. I um, absolutely love these. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe. That helps me out a ton. And I go shopping every week, so you guys get to always see the new things. Um, I love these, guys. Sweet and salty umami rice crunchies. And we just finished the bag the other night, so I had to get another bag. So good. Mmm. Who was I talking to? They said they went and bought these. And they were shocked how good they... Oh! The girl who does my nails, Stella, she said she went and bought these. She's from Japan. And she said a lot of the Japanese foods are like really chemically chemical and not as good ingredients. And she said Trader Joe's uses better ingredients. And she said she liked the flavor of these a lot. So she approved them and she's from Japan. So, super yummy. I picked up one more halloumi cheese. And then last but not least guys, I had to get some just mango. So. That's this week's haul. Oh, did I tell you guys? I also bought toilet paper. I bought two of these. The other one's on the staircase. And I'm giving Simon his own because I believe that that man goes through more toilet paper like so quickly. Like every three days he needs like a new, a new like pack of toilet paper. So I'm doing a test. I don't even know if he's gonna watch it, this video this long. But I'm gonna do a test. I'm gonna give him six rolls, and I'm gonna have six rolls, and we're gonna see who goes through six rolls faster. He's got his own bathroom, so. We have to find out now. Okay, so this was six, I don't know why I'm saying six. This was like four bags, $200, $230, cause I had to go in, two receipts. Um, and I'm loving these right now. This is the oat chocolate bar, so good. Really love this. Um, but I'll see you guys next week. 
And be sure to check out my page for reels and all that fun stuff because I post recipes and just things I get up to or anything that crosses my mind. So I'll see you guys next week.